Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss an important topic, Streptococcus smoothens and the role it plays in dental caries. Let's take a look at the research and find out how this bacteria impacts our dental health. This 3D render displays Streptococcus smoothens, a gram-positive bacteria that belongs to the Streptococcus family. It is one of the major causative agents of dental caries, also known as tooth decay, and is typically found in the human oral cavity. Moreover, this strain has its own individual morphological and biochemical properties and virulence factors, as well as antibiotic resistance mechanisms. We will delve further into these features. S. Mutans is a common inhabitant of the human mouth, primarily found on the hard surfaces of teeth. It colonizes the pits and fissures of teeth, leading to the development of the bacterial biofilm known as dental plaque. This is due to the bacterium's strong adherence to tooth enamel, which allows it to remain in the oral environment. S. Mutans was demonstrated to be a gram-positive organism via gram staining, with a cuboidal around its shape. Microscopically, it was found to be 0.5 to 1.0 micrometers in diameter, and exhibited as pairs or chains of toxic. Additionally, S. Mutans was confirmed as a catalase negative bacterium. Streptococcus mutans can grow on various media, including blood agar, triptych soy agar, and midis salivarius agar. After 24 to 48 hours of incubation at 37 degrees Celsius in an anaerobic atmosphere, it produces small, round, smooth and translucent colonies with a diameter of 0.5 minus 1.0 millimeters. S. Mutans is able to ferment various sugars to produce lactic acid and is capable of producing the sticky polysaccharide, dextran. This dextran assists in the bacteria's ability to adhere to the tooth surface and form dental plaque. Examining these biochemical characteristics can aid in further comprehending and fighting dental caries. S. Mutans has a host range primarily consisting of humans, making it one of the most common bacteria in the oral cavity. Additionally, it is found in other mammals such as dogs, cats, and rats, though its role in their oral health is unknown. Nonetheless, its presence in the oral cavity of various species shows the importance and significance S. Mutans has in dentistry. S. Mutans is a commensal bacteria found in the oral cavity mainly responsible for dental caries. It produces various virulence factors enabling acidogenicity and ACI duricity which demineralizes tooth enamel and forms caries. Adhesins like glucan binding proteins and antigen I, too, promote adhesiveness of the bacterium on teeth while extracellular polysaccharides like dextran are responsible for the formation and stability of biofilms. S. Mutants can exhibit resistance to certain antibiotics, like tetracycline and erythromycin, due to genetic mutations or the acquisition of resistance genes from other bacteria, known as horizontal gene transfer. This makes S. Mutans difficult to treat as it can develop a resistance to antibiotics. Epidemiological studies show that Streptococcus mutans is widespread in the human population, particularly in children and those with poor oral hygiene who consume a high sugar diet. Factors like oral hygiene, age, socioeconomic status, and diet have an influence on the prevalence of S. Mutants, likely accounting for its higher frequency in individuals with inadequate hygiene or high sugar diets. Primary pathogenic mechanism of Streptococcus mutants is the ability to adhere to the tooth surface and form biofilms, which ferment simple sugars to produce lactic acid. This lactic acid lowers the pH of the biofilm and demineralizes tooth enamel, causing caries lesions. Biofilm production by the bacteria gives them protection from the host's defense and immunity, as well as from antibiotics. Immune response to Streptococcus mutans is intricate and consists of different measures. Flushing action of saliva, antimicrobial effects of lysozyme and lactoferrin are among the innate defense mechanisms. Adaptive immune response involves production of specific antibodies and T-cells, which can identify and target antigens specific to S. 
gluten. Vaccines to induce immune responses have been developed, but further research is necessary to evaluate their potency. Diagnosis of S. Mutin's infections is made by examining dental plaque samples under a microscope in a laboratory. Various methods are used in this process, such as microscopy, culture, and PCR. These tests can help to verify the existence of S. Mutin's and also establish if it is the main cause of dental caries. Regular dental checkups and good oral hygiene are essential for preventing S. Mutin's infections. Brushing and flossing on a regular basis, cutting down on sugary food and drinks, and using fluoride containing dental products can help maintain the health of your teeth and mouth. Additionally, dental sealants can be a great safeguard against dental caries. These simple measures can help keep your teeth free from infection and cavities. Main treatment for S. Mutin's infections involves removal of dental plaque, paired with use of fluoride containing products to remineralize tooth enamel in order to stop potential further damage. In cases of more severe infections, dental restorations may be necessary to prevent spread of the infection, while helping restore tooth to original condition. A picture depicting an engineering drawing of Streptococcus mutans is presented on this final slide. Its visual representation allows for easier understanding of the complexity of the microorganism, as well as its function and behavior. Thank you for your attention.